Hello everyone, it's December 24th. If you don't know me, I'm Sonia, I'm Italian. My boyfriend Brian, he's American. He has lived in Italy before, totally even more than a year, but he has never experienced an Italian Christmas. So today and tomorrow and even on the 26th, I decided that I want to document the experience of an American in Italy during Christmas. Yay! <laughs> if he survived. Now it's December 24th, Christmas Eve, and it's 4.30 in the afternoon. I want to kind of like interview Brian and ask him a few questions before he starts experiencing the Italian Christmas. Welcome to another episode of Cultures with Sonia. Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> Terrible. So Brian, thank you for being here today. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Christoffery. Can you please just confirm that you are American? I confirm. Where in America are you from? Denver, Colorado, home oh. of the Rocky Mountains, the Mile High State, the Centennial State, home of the That's Colorado enough. Rockies and Denver Broncos. That's enough. Can you please confirm that this is your first Christmas in Italy? I confirm that this is my first Christmas in Italia. Perfect. I wrote down a few questions that I would like to ask. Please keep it to four. I have nine. Please eliminate five. No. Just kidding, let's start. Okay, are you excited? Yes, simple answer for a simple question. I'm excited. What's your image of an Italian Christmas? Tons of people, tons of food. Literally, the image is a long table just filled with people on all ends and all sides, all the way with a million plates all along, and they're like, Throwing food, <laughs> throwing. not throwing literally, but like passing the plates and like taking just like yeah, I'm just like and talking and stuff like that. Oh, this will last for five or six hours. No exaggerating. Does it seem fun to you? Yes and no. It depends on the company, but I enjoy Sonia's family. Question number three. How do you think that our Italian Christmas will be different from an American Christmas? First, I think the food will be different because in America we usually eat ham and you don't really eat ham on Christmas. On the 24th in Rome, we don't eat meat. Usually it's just fish. That's going to be different. And I also think that like in America, it's kind of like little mingling sessions happening. Like maybe two or three people in a group talk two or three people in a group talking whereas in my image of Italian Christmas it's just one big table of everyone <laughs> talking also in America I expect we would play like some games or something which could happen in Italy too but I think Italy is mainly focused on eating and talking what's the thing you're most nervous about being surrounded by all of Sonia's family which of course are all Italians and my language abilities aren't gonna be able to survive <laughs> that marathon of talk with like all these Italians <laughs> maybe your brain is like like going into overdrive and I'll run out of gas and I might be too tired. All right, next question. Do you think you can eat as much as us Italians? Yes, I do because I don't think that Italians necessarily eat more than Americans, but Sonia will eat more than everyone. <laughs> okay, I'll try to document his food coma. What do you think the best part will be? Wow. can't think of anything. I think the best part will be kind of the whole experience just as it will be different from the typical Christmas I've had in my life. It'll be interesting to see that. Obviously Christmas is always a happy time and that will be the best thing. And the worst? That I'm predicting might happen? I don't know. I mean Final what's gonna comment? happen? Is someone gonna pull out a knife and be like, get the American! <laughs> on the 24th, but tomorrow, that's the 25th, maybe. Okay, any final comments before we end the interview and we start the documentation? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay. We'll see you in there, boy. Ah. The time has come. We're leaving. You're already helping. You feel uncomfortable? Well, I would say Bran was right about the big, long table. We had an appetizer, talked a little bit, and then we started eating. We ate a lot, we talked a lot, we had a lot of fun, it was a good time. Bran did really well. On the 25th, we were still with my dad's family, another big table. This time on the menu there was a lot of meat, but luckily my family, there are two more vegetarians, so I'm not the only one. Still, talked a lot, had a lot of fun. I was surprised with how much Brian ate. He was able to eat a lot of meat. And I mean, I haven't eaten meat for 
15 years, but I remember that it's pretty filling. December 26th was with my mom's family and there was another big table brand was so right about that. And yeah, that's my little cousin. Yeah. Where are you from? What's your name? My name is Brian. What's your name? <laughs> As you can tell, if you don't really love to eat, Christmas in Italy can be challenging. Let's just say that. But luckily, no problem here. Also, Brian loves my little cousins and my little cousins love him. And these were the desserts. Judging by Brian's face, I would say he was surprised, but he liked them. Yeah, yellow. After lunch, he was given and forced to wear this nice pair of glasses, really fashionable, and we opened our gifts. Hey guys, it's December 27. 20. Seven. He survived, my American boy. Woo! Woo! How was it? It wasn't anything out of the extraordinary. It wasn't anything crazy and unexpected. I mean, it was pretty much a Christmas. You know, you got the food, you got the family, you sit and you eat and you talk and you enjoy it. Just a Christmas. All right, all right. Was it how you expected it to be? I didn't have too many expectations. I was kind of going into it like blank minded. Yeah, it was pretty much what I expected. It wasn't too different. <laughs> I can see the window in the background. <laughs> How is an Italian Christmas different from an American one? Of course, the food. I feel like there's no traditional food of Christmas in Italy. In America, it's probably like ham. Y'all do have the traditional desserts, panettone, yeah. pandoro. There's no specific thing that we must cook or eat for Christmas. There wasn't really much of a Christmas theme like Santa Claus or like Christmas music really, just no. Maybe it's because there were no little little kids in my family, just my cousin. My cousin. But when we were little, there was like the Santa that's true, thing. That's Usually true. it was an uncle who was like, Santa! And some kids were like, no, that's not Santa, that's Uncle Stefano. Yeah. So what was the best part? Just chilling with your family and stuff, talking to them, and the food. What was the worst part? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't say that? <clears throat> well, I don't know what the worst part is. Really? Yeah, what do you think? Maybe just like sitting around a table for hours and talking? <clears throat> it wasn't too bad though, there was no worst part. That's sweet. Is it because my family watches my YouTube videos? <laughs> what was the best food you ate? The lasagna. Tialdizia. Thank you. Thank you. I liked your mom's polpette. Fish balls. Fish balls. I like the last pasta. Yeah, that okay. too. Did you struggle with all the eating? No, absolutely not. Yeah, that's true. Today, December 27th, for lunch, you wanted pizza. All right. Oh no, there is something you must tell him. <laughs> the sound of an Italian Christmas. We were eating and he was like, Sonia, there is one sound that is really typical in an Italian Christmas. I was like, what sound? It's not only Christmas, it's any gathering. I never do it either because I don't feel like comfortable doing like Why Like not? I just do this It's just not who I am, I can't okay, do okay, that Okay, let's try Try it yeah. Overall great? A A any other comments before I end the vlog? This is for your American fellows who will spend Christmas in Italy in the future. Just be ready to sit down and talk for a while. Be ready for a long discussion. Six to seven hours. Non-stop. Hopefully your Italian is good enough to keep up. It's okay, he survived. Thank you for watching. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got the yawns today. I was hella tired morning. yesterday after the 12 hour. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye.